Hello, Missouri Mommy here. My name is Nina, and today I'm going to try out some UV resin I got from Timu, and I'm going to compare it to some UV resin that I already had that I'd gotten a while back. Um, it's actually in this bottle right now. I just put tape over it so it was clear, and UV resin needs to be in like a dark bottle to keep it from hardening. So I'm just going to see how the resin, the UV resin from there works compared to UV resin that I've already had and used. Thought I would share it with you guys. So I have this mold because I can do one on each side and do three different versions basically. So this one comes like that. You got your safety seal right here. So you take that off. And then this part, well, the plastic part stuck. That's no fun. Let me just use a popsicle stick. There we go. And then it comes with the cap that you can put on there. Let that twist off and all that. go. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit into this container that I just got the hair into. I think that will be enough to fill that up. I'm going to take this one and do the same. So for the first one, I'm going to just add some blue dye, resin dye. Oh, I just got it from Amazon a while back. I'm just going to add a tiny bit. There we go. Come on. One drop in each. I don't need a lot of color. It's a tiny mold. I feel like I got some of the dried up dye in here. So let me just... I use Sticky Tech to clean out my molds because I can reuse it over and over again. I mean... I've been reusing the same sticky tech for like five years. I just keep it in a little container. And that way I'm not wasting, like, you know, going through a bunch of tape and whatnot. So I'm just going to mix in that little bit of dye. It's really pretty. Make a really pretty blue. I'm just going to pour it in on this side. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to let it set where some of those air bubbles hopefully come out. If not, I can spray it with some rubbing alcohol or heat it up a little bit with a lighter. I didn't get out my heat gun. So I did not think that far ahead. Alright, so I'm not going to use that one on the other resin. I'm going to use a new popsicle stick on this resin. It did seem to mix in easier, but that could have been because I let, because this one was setting for a while over here while I was mixing that one. You can already see like a lot of those air bubbles have come up to the top. I'm not going to worry about curing it yet. Alright, so I'm just going to use the same containers and the same popsicle sticks. And now I'm going to add a little bit more resin in each container. It's alright if it has the blue. I'm just going to add some glitter. Some part of glitter. Some little white sparkly glitter. I'm going to use a different popsicle stick. I don't get no resin in my glitter. Did a little bit. A little bit more than that, though. Okay, added 
We got it a little bit more glitter over there. I'm not sure. Either way. It's just some white sparkly glitter I got at Walmart. You can try that light tint and blue because of the leftover that was in there. Which is fine. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. So this is gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna pour this one into the next little wing. Didn't quite put enough resin that time. I think it'll still be okay. It just won't be quite as full. So we can't clean up some of that glitter. Get that down in there. There we go. And now I'm gonna do this side. This one had more of that blue left, I think. It's definitely got more blue color into it, so they ain't gonna match. So you can see those are degassing pretty good. Air bubbles rising. Oop. I'm making a mess. Good me. All right. So now we're going to do one more badge, and they're going to have a little bit of the dye and the glitter left in there, but I don't care add a little bit more this time because we're going to do some mica powder and that does not really take up a lot of room. So there we go. And I'm just going to take some of this white mica that I got from Amazon. Maybe where's the opening? Come on. So I'm going to use the one I used for glitter. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to add all that. Oh, well, I guess I did. So, we'll add about the same over here. It may not have been quite the same. There we go. Now I'm just gonna mix again. I put too much in there. Not in here, I put too much in there. And then I'm gonna mix up this one. I don't know. If I took that right out of frame. And I keep making a mess. But doing resin is usually pretty messy anyways.
think there's black speck in here now. There was one that's part of the mold, but I think I got another one in there at some point. Alright, I had a little bit much resin in here as well. So let me just, I'm gonna move these off to the side because I can always put that resin to use elsewhere. And then I'm going to uh, figure out where my lighter is. There we go. Quick little once over to pull it here. Alright, now I'm going to plug in my UV light. I'm just going to set it here and let it cure for a little bit. I should put my caps back on. Maybe you sweetheart, can I? Face, right? This or this? This. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yes, I put it there. <laughs> okay. It looks like a blob from the rest of it. I'm fucking stir it first. No, no, not cured. Alright, I'm gonna let this cure for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I popped out these two. Um, this was on this side, and this one was on this side. So this one came out pretty sticky right here. And on the back, that's why it looks so funky. And this one is that resin I got from Timu. And then we got the glitter ones. This one's a little bit sticky. So this one... This one's a tiny, like, barely. I mean, that could just be from me touching these, even. It's just the edge. Which could be because this is a little bit thicker. I had to actually, like, set it on top of the UV light because it wasn't getting to the bottom because I, I, it was so thick, I'm guessing. So, yeah. That's how they turned out. Um, I think the resin, this one that I already had, is getting old. And that's why it's staying sticky like that, whereas this one isn't near as sticky, whereas that one is very sticky. And then these little pieces I made using a nail mold. So you have some little flowers. These little flower butterfly weird things, they didn't come out very well. I did not realize there was a flower in the middle of it. Oh, I already showed that. There's a little butterfly, an actual butterfly that I did with the leftover. And look at this little goldfish, he's so cute. It would be really cute on a nail. Just boop. I like a little orange and black dots on them with some gel polish or some regular polish. And then there's also this little flower that I made. A couple of those. thought they were really cute. It's a good way to use up my resin. My extra. For some nail things. So this was the video. And I really like this one. This is the hard one. I like it. Um, I think what I usually use UV resin for is, um, cabochon things, but I don't know where mine are right now. And I wanted to go ahead and try this stuff out. Which, cabochons are like little metal things that you fill in little holes with colors and stuff and decorate it. Normally that's how I use UV resin. I don't really do a lot, I don't really use them in molds. This is, so I think I went too thick. So yeah, but this is me trying it out. This actually worked pretty good. I only got the small bottle. Um, I'll have to find my flat wax and do a couple of those on here for y'all. So if you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more resin videos. Thank you so much. Bye.